Hello everyone. We are starting a new course in science as fundamental concepts in organic reaction mechanism for beginners. These are the elementary concepts that you have to understand in order to study organic chemistry. These are the, uh, uh, when you consider the organic reaction mechanism, you come across many terms. So, those terms, if you understand easily, then it is easy for you to remember the mechanism and also you can predict the mechanism, you can predict the product. That's why in this course, we are going to all the, uh, the lessons which are very important in order to understand the reaction mechanism of organic reactions in organic chemistry. First one is nature of bonding in organic molecules. So, you know that whenever the chemical reaction takes place, old bond has to be broken and the new bond has to be formed. So, that's why you should understand what is the nature of the bonding that is present in organic molecules. That you are going to learn in lesson number one. So, once you know that the type of bonding that is present in the organic molecule, you should know how that cleavage has to be takes place. I already told you that in order to become a reaction, old bond has to be broken and new bond has to be formed. So, in order to form the new bond, the old bond has to be broken. So, how it going to broken? So, the cleavage or the dissociation or the fission of the covalent bond, how it going to take place? There are different methods of cleavage of covalent bond that you are going to study in detail in lesson number 2. So, once the cleavage takes place, the attacking species, uh, it may be electron rich or it, it may be electron deficient, it should attack the neutral molecule, thereby the reaction takes place. So, those uh, species which are going to attack, they are called as attacking species that you are going to learn the different types of attacking species you come across in organic chemistry that you are going to study in lesson number uh, 3. Once the attack takes place, so there are intermediates are formed which are highly reactive in nature, their lifespan is very low. So, those intermediates, what are the intermediates? How the whole uh, bond broken, how the attacking species takes place, then the reactive intermediates that you are going to get. They are highly unstable, immediately, immediately they get converted into product. So, what are the different intermediates uh, that you come across after the cleavage of the covalent bond that you are going to study in this particular lesson. Lesson number 5, we are going to tell you what are the different types of organic reactions. Once the reaction taking place, you know that this uh, the uh, above 4 lessons will going to tell you the, how the reaction takes place. So, what are the different types of reaction takes place? Depending upon the attacking species, depending upon the intermediate, depending upon the cleavage, you come across different organic uh, reactions depending on the uh, starting material, depending upon the reactant. So, different types of reaction takes place in organic chemistry. Those you are going to study in detail in lesson number six, uh, lesson number five. Well, uh, lesson number six will going to give you the bond parameters. Once the reaction is taking place and you know that bond angle, bond length and bond energy, these are called as bond parameter. So, that going to decide the shape of the molecule, how you are going to get the shape of the molecule. So, what is the geometry of the molecule that you are going to get after doing the reaction? So, that you are going to study in lesson number 6. In lesson number 7, you are going to study uh, again the types of bonds that come across in organic chemistry, polar and non-polar. Again, polar and non-polar also going to affect uh, the reaction mechanism. Therefore, it is necessary to understand all these concepts, cleavage of covalent bond, attacking species, inter reaction intermediates, bond parameter, polar and non-polar uh, polar bonds. Once you understand the basic concepts of all these uh, concepts, it is very easy to understand uh, the mechanism of the chemical reaction. Mechanism play a very important role. All these mechanisms they are going to ask in the higher education either in PUC or in degree or in competitive examination and also for the master degree. These are the elementary things that you should understand in order to understand the reaction mechanism in detail. Therefore, we are, we are going to uh, concentrate on all these parameter. Lesson number one, we are going to consider the nature of bonding in organic molecules. The so, lesson objectives, 
the student will be able to understand the nature of chemical bonding in organic molecules so what is the nature whether they are uh, covalent bond how the covalent bond is formed how the sigma bond and pi, bar, pi bonds are formed how the overlapping is taking place all these things you are going to study in this particular lesson so the covalent bond types of or types and types of overlapping sigma and pi bonds you come across concept of resonance and also we are going to use many arrows formal arrows uh, uh, curly arrows double sided arrow single sided arrow what is the meaning of that all those things you are going to learn here and also you come across localized and delocalized chemical bonds in case of aromatic compounds that also we are going to discuss in this particular chapter again conjugation and non conjugation are cross conjugation chemical bonds because depending upon the type of the bond that you are going to have different chemical reaction takes place different reaction mechanism that you come across therefore it is necessary to understand nature of bonding in organic molecules the second lesson you are going to study the cleavage of covalent bond the cleavage of co covalent bond is a very first necessary step to understand the mechanism so there are two different types of mechanisms are there one is called as homolytic cleavage other one is called as heterolytic cleavage so and also you come across ion cation and anion and also free radicals when you do the cleavage of the covalent bond depending upon the different conditions you come across different reactive intermediates and those reactive intermediates are very necessary and that is the one which going to give us the path for the reaction mechanism therefore it is very necessary to understand uh, and also able to learn how the cleavage takes place uh, is necessary for understanding mechanism and the third chapter we are going to study third lesson attacking species in organic chemistry uh, once uh, your student uh, know what are the different attacking species it will be very easy to just understand the mechanism mechanism is the basis for all reactions in organic chemistry so there are different types of attacking species like electrophiles nucleophiles again the electrophiles positively uh, positively charged neutral nucleo means negatively charged and also uh, neutral nucleophiles similarly free radicals these are the different attacking species that we come across in an organic reaction that you are going to study in detail in number 3 lesson number 3 we are going to focus on the reaction intermediates in organic chemistry as already told you once the cleavage takes place depending upon the conditions you come across different types of reactive intermediates their lifespan is very short and immediately they turn over convert uh, into one form to another form these are the different reactive intermediates you come across carbocation or carbonium ion carb anion carbon free radicals carbenes even nitrines are also there since we are considering only the organic chemistry we are concerned only with the carbon related uh, reactive intermediates and also you are going to study the definition example how it going to form how they undergo the classification different types again when you consider the carbocation depending upon the type of carbocation we are going to classify them into different uh, class of carbocations those carbocation depending upon the nature or the type of carbocation that you come across the reaction rate or the reaction or the reaction mechanism will going to affect therefore one student understand this he will be able to represent different carbocation that he come across during the reaction mechanism then lesson number 5 different types of organic reaction so once a uh, uh, student understand this so uh, it may be a substitution reaction addition reaction condensation reaction elimination reaction rearrangement reaction even though there are lakhs of millions of organic compound those organic compound except oxidation reduction these are the five different types of reaction mechanisms that uh, uh, that takes place in organic compounds so student will be able to understand the different types of reactions that come across in organic chemistry depending upon the nature depending upon the cleavage of the covalent bond that takes place in that particular molecule so introduction of different reactions in organic chemistry the student will be able to understand then the lesson number 6 bond parameters the student will be able to understand different bond parameter which is required to understand the geometry of the organic molecules because these bond parameters also going to affect if your compound contains a double bond the reaction mechanism will going to affect if it is a triple bond it going to affect it going to have a lone pair of electron 
it going to affect like that different parameters are there different characters are there so bond character bond length bond angle bond energy and also electronegativity so many parameters are there which going to affect even hybridization also going to affect the rate of the reaction therefore it is necessary to understand what are the different bond characters that come across in that particular organic molecule and also in lesson number 7 we are going to study polar and non polar bonds again uh, depending upon the type of the bond the different types of reaction mechanism can can take place bond cleavage also takes place rate of the reaction so many parameters will be depending depending upon the nature of the reactant if the reactant is a polar or a non polar the rate of the reaction the chemical reaction the cleavage so many parameter will be uh, uh, different for different bonds involving organic compound therefore here the student will be able to understand and differentiate between polar and non-polar bonds here we are going to do the classification based on electronegativity and also dipole movement electronegativity is the you know, physical theoretically we are going to calculate if dipole movement means we are going to do the calculate estimate and we are going to determine the dipole movement and we are going to understand uh, the uh, dipole movement and uh, based on the values of the dipole movement we are going to consider the bond is polar or non-polar so these are the seven different uh, chapters you are going to study in order to understand the chemical reactions that takes place or the reaction mechanism that takes place in organic chemistry nothing to worry about organic chemistry just you are going to remember carbon is tetravalent it has only four bonds thank you all the best